All right, guys, uh, welcome back. So we're about to begin uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. Uh, we Sounds just finished like off chapter eight. More stabby than usual. Hey, better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. All right. Just before we start hearing them talk a little more, uh, what we're actually doing is uh, we're going to continue on here with some more of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So we did kind of leave off. Where we ended Chapter 8. But we found out that Madian is actually Nikki, which is, uh, as far as we know, she's the daughter of uh, Quill. So it looks like right now what we have to do is we have to kind of go report this. So what we're going to do is our girl down there is not happy. Well, we got a couple of things Can't to do here. Star pants to see what I do to the weapon system. It's going to be great, right, Musclehead? Whatever. Okay. So we do we did pick up some items, so I'm going to go into everyone's room here. Okay. Deadliest woman in the galaxy, a misnomer. Oh, right here. An accurate misnomer. <laughs> oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> Uh, Gamora, I was only looking. Relax. I'm not going to kill you. This time. Okay, good. I uh, actually never got a chance to say thank you for the doll. Oh, <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was going to be a knife or something. Like I said... Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but... I guess i do it for her. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. <laughs> and how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. 
I was half expecting you to start chanting, Red Rum, Red Rum. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Nice talking to you, too. Now we go to Jax. I think we bought a... We found an Audium here. Item. For Jax to look at this man's room. All right. Hey Groot, remember Hark Tafod's security system from last time? I see you have discovered my criminal record. Oh? Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now. Remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan? Or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? Oh, let's see, how do you stop Thanos? Thanos? Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player 2 is joined. Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come on, really? Really? After Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name, and his brother Cronus, sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire, finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke, I was changed. I could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force, feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh, wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened. It's just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. When I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. 
I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. Interesting. What was it like, in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I maybe know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. <laughs> it's really that bad? Worse. However, after the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It is not my place to judge. So... How'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness, and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen. <laughs> okay. Did we get anything else? Yeah, let me go into... What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's going to be the new hotspot for entertainment? <laughs> An asteroid, huh? Huh. Smart! Okay, let's go down here. I think we can talk to Kamora. Oh, oh, this is nothing really. Let me see here. Yeah, nothing here. We don't have... Oh, wait. What do we have here? Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? I wonder where Gru picked up that one. <laughs> see here. I saw you looking at those emergency door control stupid llama thing. You better not try eating them. I hope that was llama speak for I will not chew up your shit. Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. <laughs> Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it. Shooting at the walls of... <laughs> Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am, am the warrior. warrior. I, well, am I am the warrior. warrior. And heart to heart, you <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Ask about talk Raker. About the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Watch it, Peter! You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. Okay. Let's get out of here then. And, um... See what else we got over here. Let's see if we can talk to... What are you working on, Rocket? 
Uh, just a little upgrade for the Milano's weapon systems. I told you I put that quarantine zone tech to good use if you hit it from Nova Corps. Cool. How soon can we try it out? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there bothering me. You want something? Uh, that's... Oh, let's I go. I brought something in nowhere to remove that Nova Corps lock. <laughs> the, the guy said it was a lock disabler. It's not? Piece of junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without rocket. Fine. Give me a tick. I'll be right there. Okay. So. Um, let's see what we want. I want to put up shield, so I we'll wait a little bit here. All that effort and nothing shiny to show for it. Shame. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. <laughs> Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this flarking cult ever again. Oh, wow. So we just kind of get to look at the arm. Interesting. Uh, llamas here. Chew, Where's... chew. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh, no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. <laughs> chew. Flark off. Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Hope somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those. Anybody in there? Drax? Are you okay? Open up. Peter Quill. Are you gonna join us in the cockpit? You got a lot of dog report items for Cosmo. Perhaps I will. I'll write them down. Drax. Apologies. I will surrender the lavatory. In a few ticks. Wait. Was that my toothbrush? Yo, everyone's using this man's toothbrush. What's what's? I wonder what the story behind that is. Where's Groot? Uh, Groot, where you at, my boy? Kind of uh, really weird. Where did Groot go? Let me go back down here. Or maybe Groot is in the. Quill and I don't need to make up. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church, I'll consider us formally even. Where is Scoop? Okay, we're hearing him. Nope. Hey, Drax. You okay? Racks. All right, I guess. Oh, what happened? What's this? Oh God! Telling us to press triangle. All right, let's go look for a boy Groot. I'm pretty sure he's up here. There he is. How about you, bud? You doing okay? Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah, maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. All right. Let us continue here now. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. 
Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Piotr Quill. Cosmos ball's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask Worldmind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually... Hmm. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. Just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? <laughs> what? <laughs> you keep repeating this same meaningless phrase. <laughs> so, how much is Lady H offering you anyway? Is it like a lot? Or are you making a counter-offer? Maybe. Depends. What would it take? Nothing. Everyone's got a prize, Glory. Even you. I don't expect those of lower races to understand the basic principles of honor and superiority. When I commit to a contract, I follow through. Always. Yeah, okay. So how much for your honor, then? I cannot be bought. Certainly not by low-life scum such as yourselves. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire, and I look forward to the day when the Kree race eliminates your inferior species. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give me your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. Your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Impossible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. We'll see. Oh, what the... Nothing on that garbage scow worth Oh, what the hell? Find us a channel with less butthole content. Oh my god. We aren't controlling this thing correctly. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. And feed your ego? No, thank you. Uh -huh. These guys have really bad timing. Another problem for our pile of problems. Oh, what the hell? What's the Jeez. rockets? How much money did she offer these guys? More than that Ravager heaps worth. Oh, 
drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. That's the no one. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. It means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Normally this would be good practice, but Captain Creepy's timing is better than the costume. Where's oh, we just gotta get these guys in our line of sight right there. Never heard that. Oh, okay, that's good, okay. Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. Can we just send an IOU to Lady H? I ain't paying that psycho a single unit. These ships ain't dying fast enough. That's a big problem. Oh, what the hell? Where did this one go? Insulted my baby. Just make sure you're shooting while you do it. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Stop barking orders, fruit. You don't even know how to fly her. Okay. Only one lethal lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. Oh. So you defeated my fighters, but my cruiser will crush you. Feel that, Guardians? That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? The barrage. They will not survive. Lady Skullsuit has the worst flock in timing. Is she here? Just her goons. This time. Oh, what the hell? I'm starting to feel like you pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them, anyway. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Just her goons. This time. Ugh. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. <laughs> He's really pissing me off. All right. Keep us up, Quill. Okay, we gotta get our health back up here. Oh, that's no. Sustain just shot us. So where is he? That was a lucky shot. Here. Oh. I am Glory, warrior. Of <laughs> wow. Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! I wonder if this ends this chapter or not. 
Uh, we'll have to have a look here. Yeah, old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow, talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. Had to leave. Power supplies are in you. Need access to facilities. Swear not to leave you. Don't you stop? These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Novacore Headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Standard Galactic. I am Groot. I know, bud. But now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? Just pick something. Let's go Peter. to criminal offenses. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know. Thank you for being proactive. However, the, proactive. However, the galaxy's the impending doom makes, makes all future crimes irrelevant. Crimes in progress? We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Alright. World mind it is. The allocation, the allocation of resources for direct, direct communication, communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Okay, so I'm gonna go there. Future crime. Now, there's gotta be some way to reach him. Keep pressing things, Quill. Congratulations, Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To, to begin, begin, state your full name, designation, designation or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! Bah. This strategy is futile. Ah, uh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please please you. celestial body. Or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Finally, Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Novacore. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Only one application per cycle is permitted, and you cannot resume a canceled application. Oh, uh, past crime. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all we'll over pay the fine. Connected, Connected to banking. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. <laughs> no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting, converting all, all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy, galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mine has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. 
We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I won't. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. How are you still alive? <laughs> because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. But you're Novacor's leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only ourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. I know reasons. The Church has stopped piling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the Church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That, that is why they fail. Ha! Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It... it is not magical. But yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. They ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? 
Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna do here now? All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Novacore fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Quill? Quill, I see it. What the <sighs> hell? You're accepting the promise. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. Matrix's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on, come on. And go. Okay. Scott, whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm good. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. Even if they right. find us, we're screwed. Freely, freely accepted. Oh, oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Ali's taking some leadership here. Don't. I just... Can't do this right now. Poor group. Some rest. Okay. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. All right, give me a sec here. All right, let's, uh, Let's see here. We'll, we'll see who we can talk to. I think Jax is still here. Yeah. Drax, I mean. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent. Just try to get some rest if you can. All right. Let's go to Gamora. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Where's um? Uh, where's our boy here? A oh, rocket and grouped. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Looks like herbal tea, but uh, not sure about the smell. <laughs> I'm good. 
Say, bud, how do you stay so level-headed? I am Groot. I mean, every time Scud happens and we're down on the ditch, you never seem to lose your morale. I am Groot. Wow. Wish I could understand that. <laughs> you have it all figured out, don't you? I am Groot. Well, I hope you keep it up. We could all learn something from you. Okay, now rocket. Uh, hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I. Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment. Can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Wait. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Okay. Okay, everyone's just tired. We should probably just go to bed. Uh, where was his? Hey, musclehead! Did you? Mora, you all right in there? Gamora. Unless you're here to tell me that the engine is fixed. It's not! Or that the world mind called you back because they had a change of heart, I think I'll get some sleep. Look, I get how you feel. It's a frustrating situation. Hopeless, even. The situation isn't hopeless. You, however... What? What am I supposed to do? I'm just one guy. The entire universe might be on its deathbed. Imagine that! And I could be on my bed bed. Yeah, well... Stay in it. Okay. Hey, bro. Do you remember if I left the sensor nodes on standby earlier? Oh, what is this? My boy's taking a shower. Interesting. Is this part of uh? What we have to do this is part of his way of getting a rest it's okay that was normal nobody panic oof that was close Star really? Lord. How did you? Come on, girl. <laughs> shoot, shoot. <laughs> Screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells. Great. Well, we can't hear anything because we are... Because we shut the music off. So what? We just kind of sit here? Looks like we do. And uh, see what's going to happen here. I think this chapter will be coming to an end soon. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Bo. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. 
Uh, where the hell did we land? Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. All right, let me see here. Okay, so we're going to the quarantine zone, it looks like, again. Once we're outside, should I be looking around, lifting stuff? Only if you want to get your hands all sticky. Wait for my signal before you touch anything. Most of the debris out here is junk, and we still got a whole scudding church up our butts. Yeah, almost forgot about that. All the more reason to find those spare parts, fix the ship, and scram. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. All right. There, let's go. Why did we come back over here? Probably not a good idea. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Guys, don't let it get to you! Won't have to tell me twice! Oh my god, what the hell? Come on, girl, run oh, my No, he's having a nightmare. We cannot outrun the beast, Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Honor of my death! Oh my god. Anybody? We can't keep running away from our problems. Guys, I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? What are you doing? You don't go far. None of this makes any sense! We ain't a hero! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility! It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! You're supposed to be a hero. No! This is all wrong! Agreed. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? No! This is all wrong! Oh my god. What are you doing? Heroes don't run. None of this makes any sense! Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You take that, you ugly monster thing! Peter Quill! Peter Quill! Peter Quill! Peter Quill! Wake up! <laughs> Uh, Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. Okay. That's the... <laughs> uh, uh, Drax... Kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I... I Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, totally accepted it. 
I am super stoked <laughs> to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. D yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Oh, because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and rock it. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. We'll give them the time they require to consider. Right, uh, right, because she's a million light years away and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Alright guys, uh, what we're actually going to do here is we're going to end this one off here. And we're going to begin chapter 10 the next episode. Thank you for your guys' support.